Oh my goodness. Well, um, I saw that there was an active shooter by Madison, Wisconsin. Um, they've neutralized him. In other words, he's been taken out. Nobody was hurt. But I wanted to pull cards, and what I got above it all was that this was something, you know, ideology knew that this guy had, okay, deceptive and toxic, okay? Something that was, you know, like we have the... Um, the um, Oh, sorry about that. I'm just exhausted at the moment in pain. Um, this evangelical, you know, deceptive movement that they've got. And this was very toxic. Above it, we have, he was being sharing with those he considered in the know, um, so who knows if it was QAnon or what it was, but uh, some group that he was participating in. Uh, so what he had going on now, there were in agreement and this challenge was feeling of an abuse of power and going into it, you know, he, Planted seeds, he didn't like the harvest, didn't like what was coming about, but I think he knew that he was not going to get out of it. This was a suicide mission that he went on, okay? So um, that's what I get from it. Uh, he was involved in some sort of a cultish group, toxic, and... Uh, decided this was what he was going to do. Now, I think that he already somewhere had spoken about this. I think when they look at his Facebook or his TikTok or whatever it is that he was engaging in, they will find some things that he had been saying about that. And again, about this idea that he had of this uh, abuse of power and some toxicity of stuff going on and someone that he had seen as uh, somebody advisory that knew something. And again, uh, he was dissatisfied with things and this was going to be a suicide mission. Thank God he was the only one that was taken out and that everybody else at the school there was okay. So it'll be interesting to see what they come up with with this guy, who he was uh, relating to and what type of things that he was espousing uh, behind the scenes. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you online.